Oh, he's running. Oh. And we're back. Human Nuggets here with some more Modern Warfare 2 content. LMGs are done. And, uh. Check your bloody fire! The, uh. Having shoot house here made it so much better. Just, uh. I don't know how its sizing actually compares, but it definitely feels, uh. A lot more fast paced than the others. And for the most part, they they won that bad. It's kind of just there's way more long shot sight lines on this map than other ones, but uh, it's waiting for people to be in them. There was one uh, one match with the RPK. I got uh, 17 long shot kills in one match because some guy just kept challenging me along mid uh, with a sniper and he was just really bad at sniping. Uh, he was spoon feeding me kills essentially. And these secondaries are surprisingly good. Normally they're not really viable, except as a last resort, but uh... Fuck, now that I'm actually using them as just an outright weapon... They kind of slap. Obviously, if I aim properly. But uh, I've decided that I'll leave SMGs for last. Because if I leave launchers for last, I will hate the fact that I ever did the camera grind. Because I know that I'm going to hate launchers. Going to be shit. They do have a. Uh, I was gonna say small magazine. Fuck, this is bigger than half the fucking weapons in the game at 17. Like, all the battle rifles and shit have smaller mags than that. I can see why everyone was using these. Like, I'd been encountering it more and more with people just running them around. Some people are just running them for me, ways. I'm assuming that's a fast way to level them up because they seem to be a one shot, but uh. I think I'm having more fun just using them as pistols. Like. In a straight gunfight, you're usually not gonna win. Like that. But you know, they're secondaries, so they're not meant to be godlike. But uh, got like secondaries, I am looking forward to using the Basilisk, because I'm pretty sure that thing's still one shot. Reloading. It might be a shorter highlights reel at the start of this video. Oh yeah, I don't know how many clips I actually managed to get. Uh, or like to save, because I was uh, playing with stuff on in the background. And NVIDIA doesn't like separating audio, so uh, So I wasn't really saving them because they'd have copyrighted material in them. But uh, let me know down below whether you guys prefer them shorter, like if I kept them to like 10 seconds of really the best stuff. Or if you preferred like yesterday where I had a full minute of stuff going on. Because I get that lots of it becomes kind of boring. It's not really uh, the main type of content that I'm making. Well, I don't really know what my aim of content is. But, uh, for now, we're just trying to get that Orion camera. Uh, having shoot house here is just yeah, so nice as I was saying earlier. It plays slightly different to the original one. Because you can mantle up onto things now, like that. So, uh, it's a lot easier to get onto the stuff where you used to have to do parkour to get onto. Like, to get up onto there in uh, the first iteration of the map, you had to jump out of the window. Same with, like, going between here around to here. Now you can just, uh, jump up. 
Min match is not the right time to be doing that kind of shit. But uh, well, like showing it off, obviously. It's very useful to do min match, especially just being able to jump straight up into that window. Uh, you can really catch people off guard when they're camping in the office. Going from having to do long shots to just being able to run around and kill shit is almost therapeutic. Like, as I was saying, you know, it's it's so much better getting long shots on uh, this map than it is the other maps that the game launched with, but still, just being able to run around and do whatever instead of going to the, you know, four specific sight lines kind of shit where you can get the long shots. For, uh, for most classes at least. I know that they do have different ranges. So like with SMGs and pistols and everything. It'll be a bit easier to find a sight line. But still... Like the first camo challenge is always just fuck off. Just uh, kills. So it's not even like I'm having to stress about specifically hip firing or ADS killing. It's just cruising, doing whatever. Reloading. Secure the target area. Sniper's done. Ready custom mine planted. With shoot house being here, it did bring a lot more toxicity back to the game. Like in fucking voice chat. I have it turned off when I'm making videos, but ooh. Especially with, uh, being able to level up, they will relentlessly bully you for, uh, having a higher level than them. Fuck, now this thing is popping off. Fuck. Okay. There we are, Prestige 2 unlocked, level 100. I have not been paying attention to those, uh... uh fuck off. Those calling card challenges at all. But I just unlocked four new ones. So... I might do them at some point, but, uh, it's well down the priority list. But pistols don't seem like they're going to take all that long to get, uh, fuck, to get done, so I'll leave it there for today and uh, catch you in the next one.